Hello, you beautiful people of YouTube. Yes, I have returned to my world. I've returned to the world of the internet. I've returned to the world of YouTube. This is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel, and I'm bringing you a new State of Decay video. Not one, and not a two, and not a three. I'm bringing you a full fucking series of State of Decay, the main State of Decay game. Breakdown, <laughs> old news, bruh. We've got Lifeline coming out soon. It's coming out in June. Soon is June. Lifeline, State of Decay. The second DLC pack is coming out. We get to play as the army. We get to recruit new people. We get new vehicles, new weapons, new features. I cannot wait for State of Decay Lifeline. And as usual, my friends, you can find Lifeline on my channel on the day of release. Now, I am going to be getting ready for a brand new State of Decay storyline experience by playing the original storyline on the channel. Now, I know some of you might be saying, what the fuck, Wayne? You've played State of Decay on the channel before. Yes, I have. But wait, listen, hear me out, my friends. I now have a full high-definition setup. I have an Elgato Game Capture HD. I have a Snowball Ice microphone from Blue Mics. And that everything right now is full studio quality and I have a recording studio. What the hell, Wayne, you've gone pro. I'm doing the best I can, my friends. I've just gone through a really rough patch of my life, as some of you know, on Twitter, if you follow me on Twitter. But I've not only landed on my feet, I've landed with wings and my wings are all flapping about and I'm like, bro, I'm soaring so high right now because I now have more time in my life to dedicate to my YouTube endeavours. What a better way to start than with State of Decay, the game that made my channel what it is. And I'm playing State of Decay because it's the first time I've played it in high definition on the channel and because I want to prepare for Lifeline. So I've just started the main campaign, the familiar campaign. I'm so happy to be playing this game again. Ed Jones has just been attacked by zombies. Marcus Campbell and Ed Jones have just found themselves attacked by vicious cannibals. So let's go through what we are going to be doing in this series and what you guys can expect. So I'm going to make the episodes between 20 and 30 minutes long each. What I aim to achieve is to play the game through fully from start to finish. Not only that, I want a perfect camp. I want a perfect survival camp. I want the perfect list of the perfect group of survivors. I'm going to choose and find all of the character models that I love. Hopefully they've got good names. And that's what I love about State of Decay. Uh, you get to choose your survivors. You get to choose who you keep and who dies. Now, obviously, I'm, I usually go for the powerhouse survivors. So right now, we've started out as Marcus Campbell. He's got powerhouse and leadership abilities. He will be leveled up to a heavy weapon survivor. We've got Ed Jones, who is starts out with a reflexes trait, which means he's nimble, which means that we will probably give him, like, the ninja trait and edged weapon specialization. But... The, another good reason why this is a good idea for me to play it on the channel again is not only because it's not, not in HD, the original series on my channel, not only because I want to practice for Lifeline, but also I am a lot better at the game these days than I was, say, a year ago when the game came out. This game has been out nearly a year. June of 2013. I believe it was June 26th. I had it a day before release. Thank you, Undead Labs, for being so awesome letting me play it a day before release. And the same goes for Breakdown, hopefully the same goes for Lifeline. Hopefully I'm still on that list, because if I can get early Lifeline access, then hell's yeah! So yes, my friends, I have a full recording studio at my will right now. And I will be in here all the time recording new videos for you guys now that I have more time on my hands. Time on my hands, could be time spent with you. And you is YouTube. Time on my hands could be time spent with you. Tube. What up? Microphone bump this. Yeah, you guys just bump the speakers. Don't lie. So I'm going to break in here. Quiet hours. 10 p.m. <sighs> Fuck that. Who we got here? What's going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. I got injured people here. I have to. Teddy bear. Okay. We'll see what we We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. I mean, you gonna climb it, bitch. Supplies in the locker over there. Take what hmm. you need. Over there, stay you see. Okay, so we have just been given our first mission. Not only that, we've been given our first ever survival camp as well. So our leader of this little ragtag group of scallywags is Thomas Ritter. He's a father figure, enjoyed camping, liked to travel and born leader. He has been on a camping trip up Mount Tanner. However, 
He's been separated from his family and his friends and he's looking for survivors on top of Mount Trumbull, which is where we are now. Trumbull Valley, Mount Trumbull, uh, Mount Tanner, I should say, in Trumbull Valley. Uh, so we've got Thomas Ritter, we've got Wendell Higgins, and we've got Sheila Brookstone, who's hurt with cracked ribs, as you can see. She's resting against the ice machine. I wonder if that works, because I could do with a beverage, bitch. So we've got a supply locker here. What I'm going to do is deposit the wooden branch. We're going to take out this bracket, 2x4. We're going to take out the additional pills. If you deposit things in your supply locker, if this is your first look at State of Decay, you can gain influence from doing it. We can't right now. So our first mission is to exit to climb the water tower and survey the area for potential survivors, areas to scavenge and other things as well. Later on in the game we get to uh, search for uh, additional zombies, special infected such as the, the hunter, no it's left for dead, such as the yeah. bloater. No man, what am I talking about? This is all left for dead. I've been playing left for dead like five minutes ago bitches, so I'm, you know like I'm only in left for dead mode. Uh, the special infected, like the feral zombie, the juggernaut zombie. Uh, the bloater is actually in the game, yes. And what was the other one? Uh, screamers, that's it, infestations. God, I'm so out of date when it comes to State of Decay. So because of this uh, situation in my life recently, I haven't been able to record, I haven't been able to play video games. I've only just got the studio set up and running. But now, folks, it's onwards and upwards from here. I'm not looking back with any regrets at all. Life is good, I love my life, and I cannot wait to get an Xbox One. <laughs> that's what it's about. So we've got some gunshots in the distance. Ed's just saying that we're not the only ones having a bad day. Yep, that's right, because i got my head up your ass, Ed Jones. Oh, God, and then I've just fallen off the water tower. Kelso! So I'm going to run down here. We've got some Zed in the distance. Uh, fun fact, we are on the tutorial, which means what? We cannot die? Wonder what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be having a lot of fun. Uh, so, yes, on the map, you just saw we just surveyed the area. Here we have additional locations to search. This campsite has nothing on it. These two have potential items in there. This is the mission ping. So we're going to search these two campsites right in front of us first. In search of items that we can use to aid our survival. Survival items in the apocalypse. So we're going to search. If you hold the left bumper while you search, you search faster. We've just found a large backpack, which means we can equip it by pressing X. We can now stock more things in our inventory. Now there's something else to search in here, but I can't seem to see what it is. So let's have a quick look around again. Here it is. We've got a fuel canister. There's usually a Molotov in here straight away. Yeah, petrol bomb. Nice. We've got a zombie trying to catch us off guard. Coming behind the tent. I don't think so, sunshine. Eat my drop kick, sir. If you press the left bumper and white, you can finish off a downed foe. Level fighting, level two fighting, folks. So my aim is to get to Mar Marcus Campbell to at least level four fighting before we leave the tutorial area. That way, we can set his weapon specialization as heavy weapons, and that coincides perfectly with his powerhouse ability. That means that more often than not, Marcus Campbell will be one-hitting zombies, especially when combined with the heavy weapon special move, which is going to be sweep, which chops the legs off zombies. Wow, how am I remembering all this? I haven't played Stack Decay for so long, literally months, over a month. And yet, I, it's all coming back to me like it was yesterday, which it wasn't. It was a month ago, more than a month, goddammit. So, especially the, the vanilla campaign, I haven't played through this in, in forever. So I'm just going to drop off here. Maya Torres is our first survivor we rescued. She's looking for Colton and Strand, her army unit. But right now, we've got a shit ton of zombies. I'm going to pop so, uh, eat this snack. Maya's down. And this is where you get a good, decent bit of fighting experience. Use your snack, which uh, aids your stamina recovery. Run straight into the horde and start fighting like there's no tomorrow. Critical hits whenever possible. Uh, but you don't have to worry about dying because even if you do get bit and downed, you aren't going to die. You cannot die in the tutorial. So you can technically grind your way to max levels if you want to in the tutorial. I wouldn't recommend it because that takes a lot of the fun out of the main game later on. Uh, so Ed's down, so we're going to do a roly-poly in there. Kill that some bitch. Got this guy, this guy as well. Knees to faces. Level 3 fighting for Marcus. One more fighting level to go. And we've just rescued Maya Torres with a distant gunshot mission. Now it's this scene here that sold me to State Decay when I first played it on June 25th, 2013. Day I will never forget. Look at this. Such scenery. So awesome. I love you, State of Decay. Welcome back to my life. And welcome back to me for being in, in, alive once again. Love the idea, but uh, we got kind of volunteered to check a couple other places for survivors first. Just think of it as payback for the time that you volunteered us for the running of the bulls in Pamplona. 
<laughs> okay, then. Yoga pants. Or should I? Right, folks. So, something I didn't tell you, if you are new to Static Decay. This little green bar here, if you fit it, you can become friends with that character. Once you're friends with that character, you can switch out to them by pressing X. Now, I've just switched out to Maya Torres. She has a hatchet equipped. She's got a gun straight away. She's got a rifle. Uh, she's a no-nonsense soldier in Eagle Eye. However, she isn't nimble. She isn't a powerhouse. But she has dead ass shining in the sunset of Mount Trumbull. Trumbull Valley's Mount Tana. So we're going to switch out to Marcus Campbell because I want to level him up. Uh, I want to level him up a bit more. Because, uh, yeah, I want him to be at least level 4. And then on the way to the main hub of the game, uh, the Church of Ascension, I will hopefully be able to get my hands on a heavy weapon from one of the warehouses along the road. Uh, my favourite heavy weapon is always the axe. No messing about, it's always the axe. Good old big beastly chopper. Makes me look like a big serial killer. And that's what I like. I like killing things. I like killing things that are alive. I like killing things that are dead. That's not possible. That is not possible. And yet it is, because we're playing in a zombie apocalypse. So we've got one snack left. Our next mission is to head back to the ranger station to regroup with our new group of survivors, led by Thomas Ritter himself. So we've got in our party right now our entourage, if you will. Ed Jones, Marcus Campbell's best friend. And Maya Torres, a soldier who has been uh, who has lost her unit. Sad times for Maya Torres. And don't forget, folks, cowboys always make an entrance. What the hell? What the hell? So not five minutes outside in the valley. Shit's gone down, bras. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. Um, I'll doubt that, Ed Jones. Somebody might have survived. This guy hasn't even got a head. Um, yeah, maybe someone survived. No head. How's that possible? So Thomas Ritter's dead as well. Sad times. Look at this. I'm getting apocalypse vibes right now. I love State Decay. Welcome back. Welcome back. And it's good to be back as well, folks. It's good to be back on the YouTube hype. I'm going to be uploading. Oh, no, he's alive. Twat him. Twat him. Twat him. Quickly. So I hate saying get it off, get it off, get it off. Instead, I'm going to stand here and watch. Look at Thomas enjoying his meal. What's it taste like? What's it taste like, Thomas? Oh, Maya Torres just kicked the shit out of Thomas's head. Brains splattered all over the floor, all over the boots, all over them yoga pants. So Ed Jones has been bitten. Doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. Oh, that water's called lol. Mega lols. Okay, so we've been told to get wherever we can and then leave. So what I'm going to do now is we've unlocked a few other areas on the map. We need to head here where the vehicle is to make our escape. But first, I'm going to check out this campsite and these two cabins in the distance. Uh, because if you fill your inventory with gear, you can drop it straight in the main hub supply locker, which will give you a good influence boost. Now, influence is what you use, what you can spend uh, to upgrade your camp. Uh, to build new buildings, to recruit new survivors. You can do all sorts of things with influence. You need it for everything. Uh, the more popular popular you are with your camp, the more that you do, the more influence... Oh, God, he's alive! The more influence you will gain. So we're going to prioritise getting some gear ready for influence. Level 2 leadership. And we also need one more fighting level as well. So I'm going to hold the left bumper to search fast. If we make a loud noise, I will beat the shit out of everything that, uh, that appears. 2x4 with nails. I will equip that and I will uh, destroy this bastard. Got shotgun shells there. Don't really need them, to be honest. Uh, there's nothing... Oh, there is something left in here. Jesus. I'm going to roll and I'm going to steal that kill. Yep, fuck you guys. This is mine. So there is something still to search in here, but I can't see what it is. Oh, it's here. So I'm going to hold the left bumper again. A shotgun, a hooker shotgun. Fair enough, I'm going to take these shells as well, then. Shotguns are always good to have around, my friends. I do love a good shotgun. My favourite weapons in the game. Uh, not the stealthiest, because they make a shit ton of noise, and you can't put a suppressor on them. However, they deal some mega damage, and they look awesome. So I'm going to bust this door down like a mega bitch. Oh, God! I didn't see him again. Level 3 powerhouse from Marcus Campbell. So we've got to be very close now to level 4 fighting. Another 2x4, so that's all. This. we just got 2x4s. So I'm going to get downed. No, I'm not. If I do get downed, you, your life 
uh, restores. So that's a good thing to do in the tutorial at least. Uh, snack, so I've just taken the, the other snack. Did I take that? What's up? Um, Maya, don't want to talk to you. Want some crisps? Apparently there's something else to search. Here, let's give this a cheeky search as well. More snacks and more pills. Grabbing pills. Eating crisps. Good old zombie apocalypse. It's the only time you don't have to focus on your health. Except for rule number one, folks. Cardio. And also rule number 32. Enjoy the little things. That goes not just for state of decay, not just for the zombie apocalypse, but life itself, my friends. Enjoy the little things. We could all drop them dead tomorrow. So, drink, smoke, except for you kids. Drinking and smoking is bad. But we are all going to die anyway, so enjoy yourselves while you can. Rule number 32, my friends. Enjoy the little things. Little bit of wisdom there from Wayne from the Let's Play Kit Game channel. Something that I choose to live by. Wisdom. You shall not pass, said my teachers in school. And I didn't. Now look what I'm doing. Being awesome on YouTube. What up? Fuck you, school. Again, probably not giving the best impression to the kids. Sorry, folks. I was a rebel. A rebel child. We just made a loud noise. Awesome. So now we can beat the shit out of all the zombies that appear. Get a couple more fighting levels. All is good in the hood, my friends. And I'm going to eat some pills. I actually meant snacks. Uh, but whatever. So we're just going to beat the shit out of everything, and this will give us the levels that we need, hopefully. Oh yeah, I love this. I love it. I love the carnage. I love the carnage. God damn it, I've missed you, Static Decay. Level 4 fighting, so this is where I'll show you guys the next thing that we're going to do now. If you want to get Marcus Campbell ready for another brilliant part of the game, look at this. Once you hit level 4 fighting, you can give him heavy weapons mastering. Mastery. Uh, master the use of heavy weapons, mighty blow chance plus 14%. This just keeps going up. Mighty blow is a one hit kill. Combined with powerhouse, which also gives you one hit kills, Marcus Campbell and any other powerhouse that you combine with heavy weapons and uh, max fighting is going to be nearly unstoppable. That's why I favour uh, powerhouse survivors so much. So we've got the goal that we came for. We now need to leave Mount Santa and get to the church. I don't know. So I'm going to beat this bitch up first. Right in the afro. Check the afro Jesus here as well. Yeah, bitch. Afro Jesus. Right, but so we're going to head in here. This guy's going to come alive, so we're going to kick him. Dice, knees to your faces. Industrial supply store is clear. And Ed Jones has stolen Thomas Ritter's radio. More pills. Oh, awkward. Situations. Uh, Rusty Machete. Not interested in that. Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Oh god, my terrible driving returns. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll uh try not to Oh shit. Screw you, Wayne. Why can you never learn to drive? Oh, <laughs> oh God. This is going to piss off so many people. Seriously, guys, my driving has not improved. Then again, it wouldn't because I haven't played a at all in a long time. So what I'm going to do is take a shortcut. Whee! That was a good shortcut. And we all landed firmly on our asses. Maya Torres landed firmly on her firm ass. So that's like art or something. Bitch, you've got no arms. I will kill you with my wooden board with a nail in it. Eat my board with a nail in it. You've got a suit. You're cool. You can live. You can live. You're eating me. Screw you, sir. So I might even get another level or two just by this bit. And this truck is going to blow up as well at some point. If that blows up, we'll alert even more attention. We may as well do that while we can't die. Yes! Gruesome. My God, I've missed this game. There's the truck. Fuck you, Norma. Yeah! Suck Afro Jesus' penis. So I'm worried we got nice now. I need to get bitten anyway, because I'm going to get... Oh, never mind. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, that was gruesome. Damn it, Ed, with your table leg. There's, there we go. Let's watch this, folks. I'm going to pop some pills. Uh, otherwise, well, that was lame. That was the worst explosion ever. That didn't even explode, bitch. Look like we could climb up over here. Another tutorial fun fact. If you try to climb this exit before you trigger the Thomas Ritter death scene, the cliff will not be here. You will not be able to climb up to the top. 
There will still be like a smidgen of cliff, but not enough cliff to actually get there. So now, at this point, we can die. We've got some firecrackers here, and these zombies are blocking the car. So what I'm going to do is throw these firecrackers over there. That will create a diversion. This diversion will give us enough leeway to quite simply run and get in the vehicle. Without taking any damage, without dealing any damage, without needing to deal any damage. And rule number 32, enjoy the little things, folks. Zombieland. One of the greatest zombie flicks of all time. And if you immediately want an upgrade, check this shit out, bros. We've got a new car right here. And now we're going to do this another two times. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're going to do it one more time. Uh, like I said, uh, Marcus Campbell is a powerhouse. He's a heavy weapons expert now, so this warehouse in the distance on the left-hand side is where we are going to stop first. I'm going to let Lily talk for a little while. Oh, shit, balls fuck. Damn it. Oh, God. I missed, I missed, I missed. Uh, yep, I don't think I have any snacks either. Yeah, I do. Sweet. Eat my snacks. I don't want to get downed already, bros. Why did I do that? I'm, I'm legitimately forgetting how to play this as we speak. I'm still learning, folks. I'm still learning. <laughs> my ears on fire. That makes me giggle. Petrol bombs contribute to your uh, ammunition, your firearm skill. That's the one. So here, these boxes here used to contain construction materials. They also used to contain heavy weapons. Right now they don't. So let's break it open for a cracked pipe which is just a blunt weapon. Not interested in that. Gonna leave it. It's scrap. Let's try again. A sledgehammer. That'll do for now. More shotgun shells. So we're already packing when it comes to the shells, bros. And we've got a sledgehammer to boot. So that, the sledgehammer is a heavy weapon. It's just a very heavy weapon. Very heavy, heavy weapon. But look at it go. Beautiful. That guy didn't stand a chance. He was in over his head all along. And he knew it. He was just like, I might as well just kill myself now because I'm going to die. Ed, get in the car. Beep, beep. Beep, beep, Richie. Oh my god, get in the car. I'll run you over again. Dick, Ed. Right, fuck you, Ed. Little things. The government? Knew that was coming. You know you've played too much Static Decay when you've been off it for so long. You remember everything. Dead to the dialogue details. Yeah, damn it. Little things, little things. Yes! Three little things. Ooh, new vehicle. Shiny. Kill you. You take that signpost. Little things. Little things. Oh, God, no. That, that wasn't little things. That was big things. Swanker splat all over the car. So I'm going to do some wheelies now. Oh, there's no motorbikes in this. That would be awesome. So we're going to upgrade. Maya's in the back seat. That's no surprise there. The yoga pants gone, you know what I'm saying? So we're in the car. Now we've robbed the Sheriff Mobile. We're going to play Sheriff Rick. Rick Grimes. And uh, we're going to take the cop car now, the cruiser, to the Church of Ascension. We've discovered an infestation already. We haven't even started the main game yet. Jesus. So we're going to pull up here. The cop car is one of the best, so we're going to keep that in our stash. You invite these strangers? So I take a sip of water and coffee. Good. You made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me. Sir. So let's meet the team. We've got Alan Gunderson, Pastor William and Lily Ritter. The one on the right is Lily. The one in the hat. Hi Lily. Nah, I'm kidding. That's Alan. <laughs> got you guys going right there, didn't I? Damn right. You're worse than your brother. Come on, I'll give you the nickel for it. Yeah, that's right, Alan. That's what I think of you. Home sweet home, the grand tour. Step right up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. George Jones is dead now, that sucks. But I'm in here. This is my gaff now, bitch. I'm gonna shut the door. I yeah. I'm here. I'll pop a cap right in your ass, bitch. So here we've got the supply locker. Lily spends all of her time in the radio. Not most of her time, despite what she'll tell you. So I'm going to drop my shotgun off. I'm going to drop this small backpack. Uh, Molotov can go. Additional spare large backpack can go. So right now we've got 103 influence. That's a very good start, my friends. Very good start indeed. Lily's ass is going to lead us in damn tight jeans into the kitchen now. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but we'll 
Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup. Big, 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 bitch. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here. Rule number one's cardio. Not that you need it, lupus. How rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Good stuff, man. Other than talking on the radio and chatting bollocks and ruining the game, Lily spends the majority of her time twatting zombies with a frying pan going, nope, that's how it goes. Also claimed on this bed. Actually claimed on top bunk. Claimed on top bunk. Bitch. That's my water. Claimed on water. Claim this chair. Claim this book. Claim this radio in the wall. I will barricade my radio right now. Claim family on wall. Claim garbage that I'm standing on. Uh, claim candles. Claim this boat. Claim those two boxes of dildos. Claim these other two boxes of additional dildos in case other dildos break. Ooh, head of, that'd be painful, man. Not that I'd know. Claim this chair. Claim these suitcases. Claim this cup of tea. My god, Lily, do the washing up. There's a sponge right there, and she has not done the washing up. What a scrubber. Dirty bitch. No wonder you got fucking rats all the time, bitch. So I'm going to break out the door. Like, nobody's bidding this, bros. And we're going to roll in here, claim Ed with his sledgehammer. We're going to claim Pastor William. What are you waiting for? That's right, you're mine. I own you. Lily, come on. Also, we're going to claim that, wherever the hell that is. Now I'm going to run away. Yeah! Actually, now, now I'm going to go back. F come on, Lily. Walk quicker. You can see me. Don't wait for me to come back to you. She is, isn't she? Yep. Yeah. Walk with Lily. I'll run if I want to. That's right. Marcus is angry. I'm angry. Kiss my ass. Let Gemma. Uh, not listening, bitch. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Who bad now, boys? Jesus, Lily. He's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More fucker. More fuck you up. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You know what I'm saying? No one can be sick. We. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... There we go, Look, folks. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine so we've is just got our first mission to find some medicine to heal Ed Jones. We're meeting the other member of the group now, Sam Hoffman, who I dislike for that highly inappropriate shirt, bitch. Yeah, okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. <laughs> so childish. You need to resupply before you <laughs> Oh god. That's it. He is loving that. Don't take shit you haven't earned. <laughs> oh, don't take shit you haven't earned. It is just there. Okay, that's it for that. Resupply at home. There's a cell behind the swine and boat vine. Wait to fix stamina. Right, so let's check this shit, bros. What we got right now? We've got our first mission, Just hurry, okay. which is uh, to go here to survey the area, lay of the land. We've got an infestation here, we've got another infestation here. So already we've got three main missions to do. We've got survivors who we can't switch out to yet. Jacob Ritter is away from home, we haven't seen him for quite some time. We're not friends with Sam, we're, sw we're friends with Maya. We can't become friends with Lily, Pastor Will or Alan Gunderson. These are all temperamental and temporary however we have got some new tabs on the menu here so this is our stockpiles our camp menu our assets if you will we've got 25 out of 25 food we lose eight food daily we've got nine out of 25 maximum we lose one med daily these continue to deplete more for example the more people you have in your camp the more food you will use the more people you have in the camp the more meds you will use Meds also is defined by how many people are ill, how many people are injured, and so on and so forth. These ones, again, are very temperamental, so don't worry about them. These are our possessions. Weapons, one hand-to-hand. -hand. Weapon, one gun. This is all based on your supply lacquer. We've got nine cars and trucks. That's bullshit. We've got the two. 
Items. There we go. Okay. So the third menu is the map. Look at this. So we can cook a big meal to give additional vitality bonuses to everyone. That's a good one. And I think I'm going to do that. But first things first, I'm going to check this other stuff out as well. So we can build if we want to, but I'm not going to bother because we won't be living at the Church of Ascension long. Spoiler alert. Uh, I'm not going to bother sniping zombies just yet. I'm going to offer shelter to, to survivors. This takes 20 minutes and it will give us, hopefully, a minimum of two more survivors to join our camp. You just have to play the waiting game. We've still got enough influence to put Alan Gunderson on the watchtower. Which is good, he will snipe zombies from afar. We've also got enough influence left to cook a big meal for additional health. So that's good. Uh, yes we have, we've still got enough uh, space to build as well. But it's not really essential just yet. So we have, we're not going to bother with that. Not going to bother. Outpost at the bottom, we'll get into that in the next episode. So we're 30 minutes in folks, we've got our first mission. We've got a scavenger there, so that's going to be neighbours. We've got neighbours on our, our back already. But first things first, we need to do the lay of the land. Then the infestations, once we recruit our first members of the team. Then this scavenger, because right now, my main goal is to build up the best possible survival camp using all of my favourite character models, using the new skills that I've acquired from Breakdown and my new high-definition setup. This is going to be a win-win. It cannot... I No, don't say that, Wayne. I was going to say it can't go wrong, but it can do, because my equipment could fuck up. Or I could drop down dead. Or the world could end by that yellow stone volcano erupting. Spunk of fire all over us. And that wouldn't be cool. Jizz goggles. Fiery, fiery jizz goggles. Right, my friends. That's it for this one. I shall see you in episode two where we finally start the main game. Yes, I'm so excited. I've got the state of decay vibes, guys. And I cannot wait to get into this full on good and proper. Goodbye, my friends. Thank you very much for your support. I'm nearly at 15,000 subscribers. I'm over 3 million views. It's insane how much I have grown on my channel. All thanks to you guys. All thanks to State of Decay. I'm very happy to be revisiting this game one year on. I cannot wait to play Lifeline, the new DLC pack coming out in June on my channel on release. Keep following me on Twitter, folks, for updates at Let's Play Cat. And also, get chatting in the comments below. I'm so happy to be back. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited for the future. I'm so excited to be talking with you guys and interacting with you guys again. Life is good, my friends. Cherish the little things. Rule number 32. Have a good day. Have a pleasant evening. Don't get too drunk. And if you do, drink plenty of water because you won't wake up with a hangover. That's a good trick. Trust me on this. I know it after this week. <laughs> right, my friends, that's it. No more bad influence from me. I'm just going to play the game. I'm going to enjoy it. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy watching it. Goodbye, my friends.